Hey, this is Susan Mosley with S1 Books and More. I posted a couple weeks ago about my very first coloring party, and I had several of you ask how I set that up, and I thought the simplest way to share that would be to make a quick video. Here's what I did. The coloring party was for a mom's night out for the homeschool group uh, that I'm a part of with Classical Conversations. So we have monthly mom's night out, so I signed up to sponsor one, and we had a coloring party. So our um, Classical Conversations group, um, we have a Facebook group. So uh, two weeks before the coloring party, I set up an event in our homeschool group. And I posted pictures of uh, the four coloring books that I selected. I selected Vintage Fashion, Art Deco, Color by Number, and Wildflowers to Color. Um, I posted pictures of those. And then I actually ordered a copy of each one prior to that so that I um, could have, have one on hand in case anybody wanted to see them. Um, and also so that I could make a video of the inside of each book. So I made a quick two-minute video and thumbed through all four of those uh, coloring books. And then I posted that in the Facebook event. And then all this was about a two weeks before the event. And then I gave them a deadline of one week prior to the event to have their um, coloring book order submitted to me. So, um, yeah, so how I picked out the four that I picked out, there was really no... Rhyme or reason, other than I just went to my our e-commerce website and picked out four that I thought were all pretty unique um, and not a, a lot of overlap between any of the two of them. So I wanted to have four distinct, unique ones. Um, so I thought the four I picked out uh, accomplished that. And then as far as cost, uh, what I did, because these were my friends, um, I just charged them a flat five bucks to cover the cost of the book and tax and shipping. And these were my friends, so I shared my discount. Um, so I just charged five dollars. The books are five ninety nine. So I just charged five five bucks. I backed out my um, commission and then just figured out what I thought tax and shipping would be and just decided five dollars was an easy uh, round number to collect. Um, but if it's for a group you don't know, you could um, charge them, you know, the books are, most of them are six bucks, and then you could charge a uh, dollar or two more to cover shipping and tax, so that's totally up to you. Um, and then um, what we did, I made some snacks that night. We had music playing. I had the tables. I had my nice tablecloths that um, I use for book fairs and booths. I had those out. I had the coloring book set out. I had um, crayons for uh, the tables to share and I just provided crayons I shared with the moms that if they wanted to use something else they should bring it so several of them brought color pencils which was nice and one mom had the foresight to bring a pencil sharpener which was perfect so if you um, decide to use color pencils make sure to bring a sharpener because I had not thought about that um, and that was so great to have on hand um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We just colored, 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 and it was great for business, too. I've had, uh, I had one mom, like, a couple of days later. Actually, she didn't even get to come to the actual party after all, but she still had ordered her books, and I got them to her, and her daughters were fighting over them, so she ended up ordering more uh, right before their fall break vacation because they were going to go on the road, and she's like, I think I want some more things for my girls. So um, it's a great, it was a great um, just business um exposure event uh, as well. Um, so that's kind of how I did it. Um, I didn't have a hostess or anything like that, but I was kind of brainstorming if you wanted to do this uh, for a hostess, um, you could do what I did and have them order the books early, have them tell you what they want, and then you order them all at once through your hostess's party link on your e-commerce site. And then you could have books set up the night of the party and then just do a short two minute break, a commercial break, and let everybody sit up and like stand up, stretch, get some more food, and then you could do a quick S1 commercial. You could share about the books and you could take orders that night, which would be great. And your hostess uh, would get rewards from all of that. And I would probably do something like that uh, for my hostess if I was doing this 
um, kind of as a traditional party because just the the coloring books alone wouldn't yield a lot of um, hostess rewards for her. So throwing in that other component of um, allowing them to order would be great um, to throw in. And also um, to share the opportunity of joining our team, you might find some um, potential consultants there as well. So that's a way uh, that you could do that. Um, but honestly, what I really love about the coloring parties is that there are a million different ways to do them. Um, there's no right or wrong. Um, you really can make it into whatever you want it to be. Um, and they're, they're really, really fun. It was so relaxing. I believe all the scientific research now that I've read about it, about how therapeutic they are, it really was. It was, um, it was just very peaceful. It was great to be with friends. Um, and it was, just, it was wonderful. So I would recommend doing this and, you know, if you think my idea was um, awful, great. <laughs> you can totally chunk it and just figure out another way that works for you. That's, that's the beauty of these is that you can do them a, a million different ways. You can have them themed. You could do a coloring party for kids. It doesn't have to be for adults. Uh, you could do a birthday party with this. Anyway, just a million different ways to do it, but I challenge you to do one because they're a lot, a lot of fun. Thanks.